Praise God. Well, welcome to God's presence, our fellowship, and enjoy the word of God together. Let's just say a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for bringing us together in fellowship. That we may hear of your word and listen and dig deep into it for more understanding of what you want us to know and learn of you. We pray, O oh God, that you see us true and you give us understanding into what you have for us today. Let your spirit teach us today by himself. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Um, we are on a topic. Good evening, everyone. We're on a topic, sorrow of a backslider, part three. Sorrow of a backslider, part three. We've gone through the first part and the second part. The first part we read, we went through outline. The life of a sinner is a wretched one. The life of a sinner is a wretched one. We outlined several points why it is wretched, it is without peace, it is full of tribulations, it is without rest, it is full of pains, full of afflictions, distraction, misery, full of anguish. So a life of a backslider is not one any true child of God will want to be involved in. We'll do all our best to make sure we don't we don't go back on this path we have taken. A new life in Christ is a righteous one. That was the second outline. A new life is full of peace, is full of joy, hope, is full of comfort, it has power, it's a royal life, it has spiritual blessings, and it's full of glory. Then we went through the second outline that says, Sorrow of a Backslider, part two. The real meaning of a backslider so we have to look into what it really means so we don't just think that we understand so we went into it and why we have them causes of a backslider a backslider is someone who 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 has a changing christian decision a backslider is someone who condones sins of others or himself just keeps making excuses you know remembering all the glories instead of achieving new ones you stay in one spot we don't move on resting on one's old achievement refusing to make progress so when we see these signs in our life we begin to know that something is wrong we are not in the right path we we, we seem to be in a place enjoying glories not moving forward failure to make decisions that will take oneself forward the causes we have satanic deceit dis disappointment with christian elders the pride of achievement evil associations wrong spiritual leadership and severe trials we also talked about lusts lust of the flesh lust of the eyes and the pride of life so these things we should watch out for in our lives so that we do not fall into such today we're going to keep going further and i read the introduction in the second part of this series we discover that backsliding is not merely ceasing to follow jesus christ so it's it doesn't start from when you choose the decision to stop following jesus christ that's not where backsliding starts it started a long time from many different things changing Christian decision, condoning of sins, remembering old glories like we listed. We also discovered the causes of backsliding includes disappointment in Christian elders, satanic deceit, pride of achievements, evil association, and, and all the rest. So today in this study, we want to consider the sorrows of, backs, of a backslider, how to cure backsliding, and how to prevent it so as children of god these are things we should look out for mark symptoms you know of elements that we don't want to see in our lives we look out for them so that we can prevent them may the lord quicken our understanding 
as we study at his feet in Jesus name. Amen. We have two outlines today. The first one is the sorrow of a backslider are many and varied. The reason we look into this is because we have to observe ourselves individually and look and see do we have such signs do we exhibit these signs are there things happening around us within us so that we can begin to take precaution so that we don't uh, or we we take preventive measures so we don't exhibit these signs praise god so god is going to help us to look into them and help us to understand them earnestly in jesus name number one sorrow of a backslider is a deep feeling of emptiness that's very true so you begin to feel empty because god has created a void in every man's heart like i i like to see there is a hole in every man's vacuum he breathed into us the life of god and that life we have to keep seeking him after the fall of adam so this emptiness can only be filled with god so as a child of god when we now leave we begin to backslide we begin to exhibit such signs of emptiness no you know we don't have the godly joy that feeling of being full of god we begin to see that we begin to check ourselves and know are these things happening to us number two severe loneliness severe loneliness loneliness nobody likes to be lonely god didn't make us like that god made us relational beings he made us to have relationship really people that feel that they are lonely they really need a sense of relationship fellowship because we are like god one of the reasons he created us is that we should have relationship fellowship with him so we are relational beings so that sense of loneliness begins to show us that we may be having symptoms of backsliding misery a sense of misery misery mental or physical distress that's what it means a sense of anxiety a sense of poverty poverty spiritual or physical as well as physical we we'll look into scriptures that will help us understand this better we have sicknesses inability to approach god and an inability to witness due to guilt consciousness so we are always conscious of guilt i was surprised when i read the bible and it says the guilty shall go to hell i was like ah sometimes we feel guilty and we feel good with it but it, it the sense of guilt is really not something god appreciates he likes us to always stay conscious of the finished work of christ in our lives so that's something we should look out for so when we have a sense of guilt we need to quickly run to god ask for mercy and ask him to cleanse us from all unrighteousness it is so because when a backslider loses the only genuine friend in the world he will quickly realize that there is no substitute for christ anyway so let's just look at some scriptures that will help us understand better psalms 22 from verse 1 it says my god my god why has thou forsaken me why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring verse 2 i'd like to add oh my god i cry in the daytime but thou has heareth not and in the night season and i'm not silent so you cry out you you have a sense of emptiness this is what jesus cried when he was on the cross and god turned away his face when he bore all our sicknesses and carried our sins he took them all on the cross and god turned away from him you know so this is the cry he cried the same cry said my god my god was that so god cannot behold iniquity in our heart that tells us that the root one of the root cause of backsliding is iniquity sin so we need to quickly check ourselves and enjoy the mercies of god that he gives to us every day every day he knows our frames and he has said that we need to always enjoy it every day and ask for mercy praise god a deep feeling of emptiness number um the next verse of scripture is isaiah 59 from verse 1 to 2 
Isaiah 59 1 to 2. It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. So our iniquity is a cause of separation, it's a cause of emptiness, it's a cause of loneliness. So we, we, t- we begin to feel that sense of separation from God. And therefore we know, if we begin to feel such things, we know that there is something happening. Backsliding is beginning to come in our lives. We're not enjoying God's fellowship as we should. Praise the Lord. God will help us in Jesus' name. Psalms 142 verse 4. I looked on my right hand and behold, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge filled me. No man cared for my soul. A sense of loneliness. In our lives as we keep going, we we experience loneliness once in a while, maybe with our fellow human beings and sometimes with God, you know. That is not a good place to be where you feel alone, you don't have refuge, you know, a sense of loneliness, a sense of emptiness, misery, the miserable place to be as well. So God will help us to check, check all our lives, check, begin to look and see, God help me that I will not backslide. I don't want to be in this situation in Jesus name. Amen. The next verse of scripture we're going to look at is Luke, Luke chapter 15, verse 16. I would like to go through all the scriptures. They are so rich when I went through them. So I hope we'll be able to go through them. 15, verse 16. Verse 16 says, And he would, and he would, sorry, verse 16, and he would train that have filled his belly with his horse that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him this is a story about the prodigal son you know he was hungry but no man he even wanted to eat the the food of the 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 swine but no man could give to him the the prodigal son was in that state he was a backslider he had already taken things from his father and gone to squander so he's a full example a proper example of of a backslider in the house in the fellowship of god that he chose to begin to take his own path and it cost him dearly to the point that he started looking for so he says what that poverty poverty physical poverty to the point that you'll be hungry and you will not even have you know someone to give you to eat you'll be looking for it so do we find ourselves so apart from you know root causes like laziness those are those are things seen those are the root causes of backsliding you know lack of proper checking looking at yourself to see evaluating proper evaluation of self proverbs 14 verse 15 proverbs 14 15 the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. You know, as a battle, I just believe everything. Everything. You don't check. You don't spend time to go back to God's word and consider it again. We are not prudent. We probably are not prudent to consider, to look well on our goings. You know, so that's what happens to a backslider. You just keep going. You don't look well. You are too simple-minded. You just believe. You don't even go. The Bible talks about the Berean Christian. What was what was the point there? Talking about that they go back to check. They go back to check what God has said about what whoever is preaching, the part the pastor is preaching, the minister is preaching. They write them down. They go back. They understood the times and the season because they read. They went back to read and understood. So God will help us not to just, you know, listen alone, but keep going to his word. 
to continue to gain spiritual strength spiritual understanding will not be poor in our spirit in jesus name amen romans chapter 2 verse 9 Romans 2 verse 9. Romans 2 9. Tribulations and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jews first and also and also of the Gentiles. Tribulations, anguish, you know, if those are symptoms, anguish. Of the heart misery anxiety tribulations those things will follow us if we begin to fall back we begin to draw back we begin to backslide and that's not where anybody will want to be I won't want to be there and I'm sure none of us as children of God here present will find ourselves in Jesus name Psalms 51 verse 8 Psalm 51 verse 8 Psalm 51 verse 8 says Make me to hear joy and gladness That the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice Now, um, you hear joy and gladness when you are in God When you are in the right place but you will not hear joy and gladness when you are backsliding. You begin to have sorrows. You begin to have lack of gladness. You wake up and you're probably thinking of all the stress you have to go through in life. Or, you know, we start to think, those of us that are children of God, we begin to think, ah, am I really in the right place? Is God with me? Am I doing the things right? You know, we forget what God has done. I have to run back to Him immediately. Those are symptoms and signs of backslide and there are just there are many you know there are sorrows of a backslider verse 12 says restore unto me the joy of salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit or with the right spirit in some other versions the joy of salvation will not be there anymore if 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 you are backsliding the joy of salvation you'll not find reason you start wondering about this our salvation you start thinking is, is this it you know if we find ourselves beginning to think that's a point where we need to look for fellowship look for brethren look for the house of god look for the word of god pray you know run for um counseling this is how i'm feeling brother sister i need help i need you to pray with me i'm beginning to feel distressed it could be that something is going on and we are backsliding and hopefully we find people of god that will be around us available to encourage our faith and pull us up when we are down praise the lord isaiah 59 verse 8 isaiah 59 verse 8 says Verse 8 says, The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made, their, they have made them crooked paths. Whoever goeth right therein shall not know peace. No peace. No peace. The way of peace they shall not know. You begin to lose your peace in life and in godliness because His divine power has given us everything we need for life and for godliness. So, God cares for us for he cares about our life he cares about our godliness so when we begin to find lack of peace he said his peace gives us and you know he puts his peace upon us that they, we, the peace upon us has no understanding you could be in situations as a child of God that really needs you to be troubled if you are like me you've experienced such where other people are so full of trouble but they, they, the peace of God that without understanding that passes understanding is upon you but when you begin to get anxious and full of anxiety when you are in situations that you know if God is with you because he's with you you don't have any reason to be afraid or to worry but when we begin to feel those anxieties we begin to know that ah 
there is no peace in this situation probably i'm not in it with god so i need to run back to god and ask him to help me in this situation so that i can pull through to the other side and may god help us through as we go through life in jesus name amen amos 8 verse 11 amos 8 Verse 11. Amos chapter 8 verse 11 says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, not of thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord poverty spiritual poverty a day is coming when in your spirit you you you, you begin to lack God's word and you are not even interested we have that all around us you are talking to people of God in the house of God about God and his word and there's no interest they are just waiting for you to tell them God will bless you God will give you this God will give you that People are not interested in God's word and it really, you know, those are signs of backsliding. You know, when maybe your interests, our interests, are, are, we, we begin to lose interest in God's word. Spiritual poverty. God's word is a, a source of spiritual um, richness. So when we begin to, when there's a famine of God's word in our life, that's when we begin to realize that god please help me when you we begin to lack interest or the zeal for god's word may that not be our portion in jesus name may we seek his word daily may we yearn for his word daily may we you know stand after his word daily may we read his word daily may we look for it every day and keep growing thereby in jesus name amen jeremiah 5 verse 4 says jeremiah chapter 5 verse 4 says therefore i said surely these are poor the, they are foolish for they know not the way of the lord nor the judgment of their god describes that slide us as poor and foolish because they know not the way of the lord and their judgments are not you know in the way of the lord their judgment is not of god so god will help us to judge and to you know know the way of the lord so that we'll not begin to backslide or backslide at all um i'm going to jump the next one and just i'll read it later psalms 51 verse 11. let's go to psalms 51 verse 11. psalms 51 verse 11 says Cast me not away from thy presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. This is what happens to a backslider because God cannot behold sin. And when God cannot behold sin, he's not looking at us. And when he's not looking at us, of course, the devil advantage, you know. And we are not in God's presence. And that's, you know, that's not where a child of God should be. That's a backsliding state. That's a backsliding state. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not the Holy Spirit. Is even our comforter, our teacher, our helper. And he's there to instruct us, to guide us. So if the Holy Spirit is not with us because we have chosen, we have taken steps or made actions or made decisions that turn us away, then we have begun to backslide. And these are the things we are looking at. Psalms 51 from verse 12 to 15. It continues to read. It says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressions of thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. You can't witness without guilt consciousness. You know, as long as you feel that guilt consciousness you are conscious of the fact that we have done one thing or the other or we have made certain decisions or taking certain actions that do not you know 
go according to the judgments of God like we, we, we saw in the last verse um, Jeremiah like we saw in Jeremiah you know so if we begin to do these things take actions make decisions d- begin to derail from God's judgment God's word then we begin to know that probably and we begin to be run to God for help because thank God for his for the provisions of mercy thank God for the blood of Jesus being spilled on our behalf every day Deuteronomy 28 from verse 15 to 51 it's a very long read and actually highlighted some things for us to read I don't know um, so we may not be able to read it but maybe we'll just take a few things the causes of disobedience you know when we don't when we don't align ourselves with God's word when we don't align ourselves with his instructions Deuteronomy 28 we begin to fall back we begin to fall back we begin to fall back thank you I like to read it from here though because I'm picking different verses not all at once I may not read everything okay 28 from verse 15 but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord the the Lord thy the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all the curses all the curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee and overtake thee cause shall thou be in the city and cause shall thou be in the field cause shall be thy basket and that you know our storehouses cause you know cause shall be our fruit and the fruit of thy body the fruit of the land increase of thy kind and the flock of thy sheep cause shall thou be when you go in and cause shall thou be when thou goest out the land the lord shall send up on the curses vexation and rebuke you know so everything we have mentioned is 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 in here verse 28 says and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass and the earth that is underneath thee shall be iron shall be iron shall be brass shall be iron the lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down I encourage every child of God to go through, you know, verse 15 to, to, the, to the end of, of Deuteronomy 28 because we'll see the elements, the elements of the curse, the elements of the curse, we're going to see them there and they are not things that any child of God will want and then when we begin to observe it with our brethren or we see the, the fruit of the elements of the curse we begin to pray for one another and ask God for his grace let's quickly go to the second outline prevention is better than cure that's a well-known statement we all say we begin to prevent you know every human being has been created with the natural instinct to protect themselves we don't let things happen to us so as children of god we should apply that to our christian life our spiritual life we begin to check because we know that these things are real they are happening every day and considering the state of the world the bible says the earth is is carpeted with evil i don't think i personally do not think that the world is going to get better because these are the end times and things are going to keep getting worse we're beginning to see all the signs fulfilled and those that are into the study of the end time know that a lot of those signs are coming to fulfillment so as children of god one thing we need to do especially with such studies is to begin to gather our extra oil this is the time we need to do that prevention is better than cure please let no but none of us be any of the five foolish virgins in jesus name if you are a backslider and you want full restoration 
you must first of all allocate where locate where you went wrong repent and restitute your ways then you can then you can start start all over again but surely it is better never to backslide so as children of god it is better not to backslide god will help us in jesus name to prevent backsliding you must be willing to lose your life in order to find it steps you are to take constantly and consistently one thing that keeps us as children of god is our consistency and constantly we have to keep doing those things that god's word says we should do the same word has been spoken for years it is still true today and it will still be true tomorrow there is no modification no addition no subtraction the word of god is yea and amen and it advises us to continually read to continually study to continually meditate consistently look for what you can do and keep at it and god will help us so we've been admonished here to constantly take these steps mortification of our mortal bodies mortify mortify means to kill to kill to kill our mortal body god will help me we have 20 minutes so in john 3 30 he must increase so that we must we decrease god will increase and we must decrease we must modify our mortal bodies matthew 10 39 he that finds his life and keeps it shall lose it but he that loses his life for christ shall find it i'm paraphrasing okay matthew 10 39 talks about us finding our lives we may want to find him we want to go out to do things that we want we desire which every human being has the ability and the desire to but it's better to lose it in christ doing his biddings doing what god wants and we'll be able to find those things the bible says in matthew um 33 you know it talks about um seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and, and every other thing shall be added to us everything else that life we're looking for the bible also talks about the, the fact that he his plans and purpose for us are good always expected and always so what more can we want more than this thing so we lose our lives in him and he's and we are able to find it we actually find it in him god will help us in jesus name our lives are no longer ours second corinthians 4 verse 11 our life so we multiply our flesh let me just um, list them out we multiply our flesh that means we kill our flesh our fleshly desires everything you know those things that hold us back like seeing you know crucify our affections we'll see that later consecration of all you consider a gain give them all to god now gaining things gaining glories because we say we give you all the glory lord we give you all the praise now i i ask myself if i don't have any glory what am i giving to god you know so when we achieve things when we make gain in life we turn them up back to god there's nothing wrong with achievement in life going after things that we want but we sh we as children of god we push them behind and give all the glory to god that's why we have different slogans all glory to god and we say it is god's doing you know because we keep ourselves humble and we present all glory back to god and then when we look yes we actually have things to give glory to god for praise the lord consecration of all 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 you consider it as gain we give them all we sacrifice them and we present them to god separation from earthly ties living a life of absolute surrender crucifixion of the body we are crucified with christ galatians 2 20 we are crucified with christ as children of god we should crucify ourselves with christ 
go down with him always and every morning give yourself to him again and ask him to take over the day take over our lives and be crucified with him enjoy that um spiritual um if i may if i if i may spiritual ritual of being crucified with christ once more every day to keep ourselves in check you know to prevent us from you know keeping our spiritual rituals reading the bible communion all those things our spiritual ritual that keeps us in check makes us focus having fellowship with the brethren you know studying god's word together these are things that god has put in place for us so that we can keep our eyes on him and thereby backsliding will not come our way in jesus name john 12 verse 24 talks about a con dying except a con dies it abides alone except a con dies it abides and a con of wheat dies it abides alone you know god jesus died so that he will reap each and every one of us as his fruits and he has enjoined us to continue to do that give of ourselves don't consider who you are don't consider what you are don't consider what you've gained but keep giving that up for him for christ and he will and will keep ourselves focused and backsliding will not come our way in jesus name modify the deeds of the body kill the deeds of the body Romans 8 verse 13 says we should modify kill the deeds of the body we we know the sins that easily besets us the things that you can you 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 easily fall into because you are human being paul says there there was something in me that i kept seeking god for to to you know so that he'll take it away from me different things people say it was sickness some people say it was a kind of sin i don't know but i just want to use it as a point here that if we find something that is sin that easily besets us something that we easily fall into and we, we we should try our best as children of god to avoid them because those are the things that when we begin to relax and say there's nothing wrong with them then we begin to fall back we begin to backslide without even realizing and his gifts are without repentance you could probably be in the presence of children of god still doing what we are doing but you know in yourself I know in myself that I'm probably backsliding. God will help us and keep us focused on Him so that we do not fall into this in Jesus' name. Um, consecration of all we consider gain. Yes. Um, let's read um, Philippians 3 7 to 8, please. Philippians. Seven and eight says but what things are gained to me those I counted lost for Christ yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus so the knowledge of Christ Jesus keeps us focused my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that i may win christ now christ is our focus christ the knowledge of christ the knowledge of god is whom we need to keep focusing on and thereby will not fall into backsliding in jesus name amen living a life of absolute surrender to god romans 12 a sacrificial life romans 12 verse 1 it's a familiar scripture i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god i present your bodies a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service presenting our bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable it is acceptable it is holy when we do that our body is the temple of the holy spirit you say what do you not know that you are the temple of the holy spirit so we are true we are the bodies we are the carriers of the holy spirit our physical bodies now not just our spirits man or soul. so we don't let our physical bodies do things anyhow 
we stay in charge we, we tell it that it's it belongs to a child of God and he cannot do whatever he wants we present it to God and ask the Holy Spirit to help us to enable us to teach us to guide us so that we can keep focus on God and on the knowledge of Christ and Acts 1 it talks about the power of, of the Holy Spirit coming upon the children of God in the upper room when they went to pray you know the apostles the disciples when they gathered to pray you know the power of the Holy Spirit for witnessing so we don't have a sense of guilt consciousness you are able to boldly go to bread other people witness Jesus we share Jesus with your brethren and also witness to people who do not know Christ need salvation because we don't have the seen consciousness within us we are not guilty we don't feel the sense of guilt and it's not because we've done anything that deserves it it's because of the finished work of Jesus and he has given them to us as what a gift as a gift so I encourage every one of us as children of God to keep focus on God keep focus on his word keep focus on his doctrines the doctrines of the word of God do not desert the fellowship of the brethren always keep in touch with you know with one another in fellowship always keep in touch with fellowship with God keep up our spiritual lives that we may prevent being a backslider you know because the devil is out there looking and if we give him any opportunity he will take it he will take it and he will really draw us back the world is not going to get any better but those of us that are in Christ by the grace of God will be like them in Goshen while it is happening in Egypt our case will be different because we keep focus and this is a time to gather our oil keep gathering our oil keep praying keep studying God's Word the knowledge of Christ will increase in us in Jesus name praise the Lord Praise God.